I greet tonight's celebrator, a beloved Senator Emmanuel Manny Pacquiao, a very happy and meaningful birthday. It is my pleasure to be here with you as we share happy memories in celebration of another milestone in your blessed life. You have brought so much pride and joy to our country for being a world champion in the field of boxing. The determination you have shown and the humility you embody in the midst of glorious triumphs are worthy of emulation by our countrymen. As a senator, you have demonstrated the qualities of a true leader, someone who believes that in order to make the Philippines a better country, we have to keep our people on top of our priorities. I am glad that you are with me in this mission. I pray for your good health and so also for your family so that you will be able to enjoy and serve the Filipinos. Continue to inspire and uplift others as we lead them towards a more prosperous and comfortable life. Money, uh, happy birthday. Now, uh, uh, I have to say something about uh, the message of our beloved Senator. Alam mo, <clears throat> napapasalamat rin ako. Gaya kay Manny, I thank God that uh, anak ako ng mahirap. And I am one of those uh, descendants na who migrated to Mindanao in the early or late 48, 49, 50. And uh, my father was a Cebuano from the now, and he traveled here for the greener pasture. My father was uh, a lawyer, and he was a member of the military Jago, and after the war, he became the military governor in Danao City. Ngayon. But uh, after that, uh, nakita nila that it was competitive. Uh, sila Governor Llanos noon, Kalamba, yung tatay ni Doming yung sa Human Rights, Dominador, and others. Sila yung mga sundalo and uh, he met my mother na Kalahate, uh, Maranao. My grandfather, the Chinese. So that's my mixture, actually. I am a descendant of a Maranao lady. Ngayon, <clears throat> pasalamat ako na nag-anak ako ng mahirap. Had it been uh, anak ako ng milyonaryo, probably because of the political uh, environment in the Philippines, alam mo, every time there's an election, yung the, the meet in Cabal, yung mga leaders ng ating bayan at sila-sila lang yan. Oh, ito, ito yung patakbuhin natin. Tapos tawagan si, oh, yung uh, mga Taipan, mga Chinese, ito. That's the usual case. Sila-sila lang ang namimili sa ating destiny sa Pilipinas. Well, sometimes, may lumalabas na mga milagrong kunti lang. Hindi naman laki. For example, money. From the humble beginnings to what he is now. But yet, uh, hindi niya maalis-alis. He cannot detach himself from being what he was. Ako ang paradigm ko, kasi tatay ko nga migrant lang, he started from scratch. Ang nanay ko maranaw, but she was a learned lady. And she was a teacher. And she retired a school supervisor. Ngayon, bakit ako malupit sa corruption? Hindi ako nagmabakalinis. 
I have had my faults, plenty. But, you know, for the 23 years, one term congressman, one term uh, vice mayor, total of almost, pag matapos ako nito, I've been in politics for 40 years. I never lost an election. Kung anak ako ng hindi ko makuha ang Dabao. And ngayon na lang sa birthday, I am dedicating this uh, message to Manny. You know why? Sabi ko sa kanya at one time, kami lang dalawa nag-uusap, yung style mo na yung gusto kita gawain presidente. Alam mo, kaya mo. Not so much about uh, kami mga kababayan nandito at nagananad nagito ang gawin namin parang tape recorder na eh? next election tutugtugin mo lang gano'n na yan eh. really ang inahanap kasi yung ginagawa when I was in Davao I, well, of course I was a prosecutor I was doing trial work sa korte araw-araw for the past nine years but when I became mayor, isa lang talaga, because of my resolve, sabi ko, I am not a policeman, I am not a military man, I am just an ordinary citizen in the city. I will build a city, if I can, that is peaceful, progressive. Kasi yun ang pinuntahan ng tatay ko dito eh. Kasi kung may opportunity lang siya, may minahan siya, may coconut plantation o ano, why would he have to travel to Mindanao to seek the greener pasture, they call? So, ang paradigm ko, mindset ko, is, anong pinuntahan ng tatay ko dito? Maluwang daw ng lugar, go to Mindanao because it is the land of promise. And most of us are descendants na who started from scratch. 1948, lasang pa ang Dabao, lalo na itong Jensen. Far and in between the years, patayan dito, patayan dito because of land. And that's why we are trying to settle this. The only way na tayong lahat hindi madamay is in the vortex of violence. So sabi ko, do not destroy the city that I have or so far built. And do not destroy the young of my city. During the elections, for the several uh, presidential debates, I was the first one who had finished early. Kasi ako, ang pinangako ko, I will stop corruption. Kung kaya ko. Puputuloy ko itong droga kasi talagang sinisira ang bayan ko. You know, magkadiferensya tayo, okay lang. Any irritation of drogo. Huwag lang yung interest ng bayan. Hindi talaga ako pwede niya. Mag-aaway tayo niyan kung hindi tayo makaintindihan. Then I promise that uh, I will try to make the entire country peaceful kung makaya ko. And allow the economic people to do the job of building the economy of the Philippines. And it is happening, although... We have improved dramatically in our economy. We're hitting six points. That's 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 a big sum. Even at six six point four, malakinen. So it's a high. Medyo tayo sa Davao walang trabante. Alam niyo yung dito. Naghanap tayo ng trabante because itong mga electrical, mga master. Ang naiwan kasi dito yung hindi masyado marunong, the master plumber, master, nandyan sa Middle East ngayon. So tayo dito naghanap na ng mga trabahante 
at wala tayong makuha. That is why we have to invite the guys to come back again because Manila, pati Dabao, it's bursting to the seams, building dito, building doon. We are improving. Ayaw ko lang magbigay ng to what level. Magyayabang ako eh. Alam mo, gano'n yan eh. Ito, ginawa ko. Basta ako, I am trying to just do what I promise. Itong sa corruption na <clears throat> matagal ko nang ayaw yan. Mayor pa ako. Puputuloy ko talaga daw, pipilitin ko. Pati kayo makuha, makinig kayo. Do not insist on this because mag-aaway tayo. But hindi ako susunod sa inyo. Don't give me that shit. Alam mo itong lowest bid. Ito ang nakaletse-letse sa ating buhay Pilipino. Matagal na yan. Kung may project dyan, for example, ito building. 100 million. May mga grupo dito sa Pilipinas, umiikot lang yan. Nag-golf-golf lang yung mga... At kung may narinig saan yung bidding, doon yan sila pupunta. They go there and meet in cabal and agree to rig every bidding. Mahirap kasi sa lowest bid. 100 million. Magbibid ka, I will... Oh, sige, ako isang contractor malaki. I will bid it at... Uh, uh, ano, 95. Oh, sumar, isa 90. Itong sindikato na ito, dadive yan. Pero sila-sila lang yan. O, dive ako ng 70. Mag-dive yung isa ng 60. Mag-dive yung isa ng... Kaya ang project worth 100 million, ang lang bidding nila, anak ka ng... Ang gobyerno naman, because it is bound by that lowest bid, pupunta nyo. Ito, Mas barato itong bayaran natin, 100 million. He will build it for 60 million. Magbigay pa doon sa barangay captain. Magbigay pa doon sa mga, I'm not trying to offend anybody, konsihal, mayor, gobernur, o presidente, kung malalaki. Yan ang problema. Magbigay pa doon, pati yung karsada ninyo, Pati barangay captain bigyan because under the law he has to sign. Ilan na lang maiwan sa pera sa contractor? That leaves him about 50 half. Wala na siyang kita kung gawain pa niya. 100 million. So he will give you a building and an infrastructure worth about 45 million. Araw-araw yan, all over the Philippines. Nag-meeting kami ni Jokno, pati ni Domingue, sinabi ko, I cannot tolerate it anymore. Puta, sabi ko, alam mo, pag hindi tayo nakaintend ito, magre-resign ako. If I cannot even do a little difference of what the practice used to be, then there is no need for me to be here. I just don't want to toy on the power of being president. Tapos na ako dyan. Yan palakpakan pati yung praises. I've been sa 23 years mayor, baske saan ako pumapalakpak yung tao. It does not mean to me anything at all ngayon. But mag, mag, tino, either mag tino tayo o maglukuhan tayo. Kung magsige kayo nakaw dyan, pati ako magnakaw na rin. Umpisang, a, a bit too late in my life. Kung papayagan ko kayo, putang inaunahin ko sarili ko. Ngayon, maghintay kayo. If I don't start it, you stop. Ito ang proposal ko. 100 million itong building na ito, okay. Pabid ko. Lahat ng mga kontraktor. Kaya mo, 100 million. Tayuan mo ako ng 100 million. Pagkatapos niyan, bayaran kita. Pag hinausyaw mo ako, mga simento, put, nada. 
Hindi ko tanggapin yan. Sinong kontraktor ngayon magloko para malugi? You build a 100 million, hindi kabayaran. Kasi hinausaw mo yung kanal, walang ano. So yung malalaking project is tawag nila turnkey. Yan na. I will insist on that. Maraming mga negosyante umangat. Yung mga small time na mga highway lang dyan, dito mga barangay road. Well, we better find a way of doing it. Ngayon, ayaw ko na yung yun kasi kukurakot ng nang... Kurakot ang mangyari dyan. Ngayon, kung ipagawa ko sa'yo parang Swiss Challenge o 100 million, kaya mo? Bayaran tayo pagkatapos. Lukuhin mo yung building mo, sarili mo yan, iyon na yan. Kung dating nang makuha, oh, pa-inspeksyon ko. Sa lahat, sa gagamit. Sino ba ito? SSS? O oh, sige, tingnan ninyo. Okay. Okay, sir. Okay. Oh, sige, bayad tayo. Wala akong problema. Ayaw ko yung barato kasi babaratin. Kaya nga barato eh. Kasi baratin ka talagang yawa na yan. Gusto ko mahal. Eh, hindi ba rin basta malinis. Ngayon, kung mag maggawa ka ng building na puro sira-sira, magsabi ang inspektor o yung SSS administrator na hindi man maganda yun, na, ayusin mo. Otherwise, wala kang bayan. Ganon ang lahat ng mabibigat na project sa gobyerno. It has to stop Na, babalik ako sa Maynila kasi pupunta pa ako doon sa bagyo. Tangin ang bagyo niya. Gusto kong sipain. Hindi pa nga nakalabas yung isa. May papasok na naman daw. Tangin ang umaabuso itong yawa na ito. Galit ako sa bagyo. Alam mo na ako. Sino nga ang pagalitan ko yung mga taong nagudurok sa doon? Sa ano daw bilira na utol yung bridge. So, people are stranded, have to fly there. Uh, galing ako doon sa party sa mga LGBT. Sabi ko, mauna na ako kasi pupunta pa ako dito to celebrate the evening with money. At uh, Wednesday, mga tatlong superintendent about 90 or gara mga minimum of 60 police umalis kayo sa PNB I am starting the purging at wag kayong mainsulto kung hindi ka naman tinatamaan wag kang magalit kasi ako galit na sa dati ah uh, I'm just warning, itong mga police na kurakot, o may mga, may, may mga, it, it could be the mayor's office, or it could be talagang hiritan ko kayo, babantayan ko kayo, alam mo bakit? Kayong mga gangster na nasa police na sa guberno, medyo may takot ako na pag wala kayo sa serbisyo, yung barili nyo, nalaman ninyo, then you start to bed, makitu may, makitulog ka na doon sa mga gangster. Yun ang hanap buhay ninyo. Nasanay kayo sa kuluku, kalukuhan, maalis kayo sa kalukuhan, mawalaan kayo ng trabaho, maghanap kayo, eh, kayo yan eh. Huwag mo kami pabayarin sa kalukuhan ninyo. It is not fair. Mawalaan ka ng trabaho, ang alam mo pang polis, mang hold up ka, pupunta ka sa droga, eh. talagang, sabi ko, walang corrupt yung droga. At sisirain mo yung bayan. No? I will destroy you. Ito mga human rights kaya, kung hindi kayo gunggong, kung naisabi na sirain ko, patayin ko kayo. Ano pa naman po? Karami pang salita dyan. 
and every government has the right to preserve its people and also to preserve only one republic of the Philippines. I will never allow any. So sa mga kapatid ko na mga MI, MN, let us continue talking because both of these entities are for peace. Gaano kalawak ang ating ibigay concession is something which has to be discussed. But uh, pagka hindi lumusot yan sa Congress, uh, do not draw your guns right away. We still can talk and maybe explore other areas. But I assure you that during my term, maayos to. As I have said, I've been stressing that so that everybody will understand that when Magellan landed in Leyte, 1521, the island of Mindanao was already a slum. Kaya kung hindi ka Islam ang reliyon at hindi ka Maranao, Magindanao, Iranon, hindi ka Kagan, Sama, Tausog, o Yakan, you are not from Mindanao. If you are a Christian, your forebears came here when Magellan subjugated the entire country. Kasi yan sila lapo-lapo noon. I have been doing, uh, akong congressman ako noon. I've been to Malaysia, stud, went to the archives. So Magellan, kita mo yung ano nila pulapo? That's iyakan, mag, yung ano niya, headgear niya. Um, ako, wala naman akong independent study in the Philippines. I just got it from uh, Malaysia. But uh, if he was, uh, kaya siguro talaga nagpatayan. Dito sa Mindanao, panahon nila Pulapo, the first aggressor was Magellan. Subsequently, Spaniards wanted to cut this of migration of Mindanao. Kaya nagpunta ng Sambuanga, nagtayo ng Fort Pilar to stop the inroads of but you know they never succeeded the americans despite of so many massacres kaliyam balangiga bell nabi ko sa kanila kausap ko isang amerikano okay lang man yan naintindihan ko yan sa first zone ko Pinasok ko talaga yan. Sabi ko, alam mo, pag yung manalo na you win a war, the pillage and uh, nakawan, war buti tawag yan. Remembrance, kuha kayo ng kuha. Okay lang yan. We would have understood it at the time or until now. The problem is, Minasaker ni doon ang isang bayan. At ang order was to make the land with the howling winds. Characterized pa. The word itself uh, is really morbid. To make it a howling wilderness. Kung walang namatay na Pilipino, okay lang ako. Kunin mo na Kung anong gusto mo, huwag ka lang pumatay. Ang problema dito sa Balingiga, it was accompanied by a massacre at sinabi ninyo, the order was to kill every male 10 years old, 10 and 10 years old above, pati yung mga lalaki. Yun ang nakapasakit sa atin. Diyan ako na pwede hindi mo talaga, I can, maybe, but it pains me deeply. Sabihin mo, eh, Duterte, ano ka na, kinakalkal mo kasi, naghanap ko lang ng isyo. Eh, matagal na yun. When was it? 100 years ago? 150 years ago? 
Why? Was the morality then different from the immorality now? Or the morals before is far different from the morals of today, sir? Yan ang problema. Kasi nasabi ko lang, bakit ako na, you know, do not with my country. Kasi, yan may mga bagay na hindi ako mga, ano ganyan ganun. Hinaluan ninyo ng masakir. Kaya masakit sa akin, isa uli mo talaga yan. Huwag mo nang hintay na, I don't know. Kaya ito rin, pinaghalo-halo ko yan para ma malaman ninyo ang intensity ng kasi itong MIMN kung magkagera tayo we will all suffer moro and Christian and lumad alike nobody wins maniwala kayo paski na paputok dito paputuwal lang mangyari it will forever be an island of turmoil. Alam mo kasi, pag magkumpisa ang gera, my enemy would be your friend. Prangkahan lang tayo, it will open the floodgates of the southern uh, islands. Papasok ang ISIS. Pagpasok ng ISIS, which is a very corrupt, without any redeeming factor at all, an ideology that only knows how to kill and destroy. Pag yan na ang mangyari, wala nang katapusan yan. Because you nurtor hatred. Palaki ng palaki yan. That's the last thing I know from whereof I speak. Ang isang anak ko, and dumabas nga doon sa Daily Star na nagpa-picture. Ano ba naman yan? Kadugo ko yan eh. Small matter. Gamitin lang yung malakan yan. Wala naman ako doon. But even if I was there, eh kung granddaughter ko magpa-picture, lahat nga ng mga bisita pumupunta dyan, nagpa-picture eh. You know, that, that, that girl, she's going to be 18 years old. Ang nanay niyan, maranaw. Ang tatay niyan, tausog. May mga apo ako na Muslim. Kaya sabi ko, kayong mga moro, do not be offended by my words. I'm just trying to tell you that there is a problem which we have to solve together. Huwag ka magturo sa akin, kaya ang nanay ko maranaw itong mga apo ko, anak ni Pulong, puro Muslim yan. Saan mo ako ilagay? Ako, Presidente, utang, usap tayo. Nobody begins uh, the killing. Nobody but nobody. Di papaya. Mag-usap talaga tayo. And we will give concessions. And I will explain to the Filipino, the rest of the nation, alam mo, ganito yan eh. Just what I'm trying to tell you now. So we have the options on the table. And we will do it. Balikan ko, corruption. Alam mo, for so many years, every administration has always a component of corruption. Pati sa akin na, nangyayari na, one year na ako. I have fired a lot of people, including people here, who were with me during the 1988 campaign for the city mayor. Tagal kami nagsama. Sinabi ko sa inyo, ayaw ko yan. Magkano ka ng iba, huwag yan kasi pera ng tao. Do not try to travel. I appointed you September. Ngayon, nakaabot ka ng eight travels in and out. Lahat ng convention, pati seminar, gusto mong puntahan. So now, the role is this. Nobody gets out of the Philippines using public money. You have to clear it with me. 
titignan ko kung anong klase ng konbensyon yan. Kasi tinignan namin yung iba, pipirma lang, in, wala wala, pasyar na. Hindi na magkatin ng ano. E ginagawa ko yan noon, pero sa eskwilahan. Wala, wala mang kayong binigay na twist yun sa akin. Eh yung anak ko, anak natin, sabi ko, anak ko ang babae, sa pangalawang asawa ko, dalawang asawa ko eh, ilan tayo tag dalawang asawa? Mahiya pa ang mga gago. Sabi niya, pa, ito yan si Brunes ba? Di ba sekretary yan ng kapit ko? Under your control ba? Sabi ko, yes. Supervision and control yan. So, sabihin mo yung K-12, kamali siya doon. Sabi ko, anak, kung masyadong magmadali. Kasi ang tatay mo, original ako, K-12 rin. I finished high school in seven years. Kita mo? But it does not mean to say that what is really immoral no one could become moral. Or that, that it was wrong at that time, it becomes right now. Ganun lang yan ang ano. So ako, pagbalik ko bukas, tignan, tatlong superintendents, ito, so I think that, ewan kong, mga tatlong general yan. Sabi ko sa inyo, police and all, stop it. Stop it. Kasi hindi tayo makindihan. Just as many articulated, huwag mong sayangin yung pera ng tao kasi hindi yan atin. Mahina ang negosyo mo, gobyerno. Kasi umalis ka. So that rule now of uh, lowest bid, wala ito, mga grupo lang ito, saan-saan magpunta kung may bidding, laro, laro ng golf, o, oh. ano na? O oh, sige, punta doon. O, oh, itong bid ko, lowest, itong akin. Tapos may pagbagsak pa. Tapos, pag nanalo na, uh, mayroon mang kaagad yung uh, down payment ang gobyerno, uh, ibahin-bahin na ang mga buwang. Uh, kaya ka lahat ng project, wala kang matino makita. Really. The fundamental issue there is, walang magandang project basta galing gobyerno. Dahil nga sa korupsyon. Kaya lahat, lahat, pag umalis ka ng ano, even local officials, utang, iyo, You better submit your travel papers very early. Kaya hindi lang magpapatong yan dyan. Titignan ko. If you can make it one month earlier, padala mo na sa DILG para titignan ko. At kung hindi ko sabihin lang ng convention, convention, you better stay here. If you cannot really help the country considerably, You're just wasting the money of the people. That's what Manny Pacquiao would want to convey to you. So, birthday, let us honor, or at least the entire Philippines is listening now. Ang gift ko sa kanya is jointly with his personal hatred for corruption. I join him with the same intensity of hate. And yan ang birthday ko, gift ko para sa kanya. Yayarain ko kayong lahat. Maraming salamat po.